Splitting the party isn't just a death wish, it's also a headache for the DM. If you've ever struggled to keep players engaged as they scatter across your world, fear not, you're not alone. In today's lesson, I'll share four powerful strategies to help you guide your game with ease, even when your party scatters to the winds. Let's dive in. Now, picture this. You're in the middle of a game when Sarah decides she wants to chat up the barkeep for rumors. Meanwhile, Mike's already halfway to the dragon's lair, and then there's Alex who's decided that it's the perfect time to turn in for the night. It's okay to feel overwhelmed when your players split up like this, but with these four tips, you won't have to. First, let's cover the basics. When players split up, think of yourself as a master filmmaker directing separate scenes. Imagine cutting between Jon Snow at the Wall and Daenerys in Marine. Keep both scenes running simultaneously, and alternate often to keep all players engaged. Be sure to briefly reset the scene each time you switch so that your players can easily follow the story. If those scenes won't overlap, you can even let one scene skip ahead in time while the other lags behind. But remember to sync up the timelines before the party regroups, avoiding any time travel related shenanigans. That brings us to our second strategy. Keep the suspense high. Cliffhangers are a great time to move between scenes. Whether you've unveiled a major plot twist or even just asked for a dice roll, seize that moment to switch back. This has two big benefits. It gives your players some time to strategize for their next turn in the spotlight, and it keeps them on their toes, itching for the camera's return. Keep scene switches frequent. Unless your players have saint-like patience, don't dwell on a single scene for more than about 10 minutes or so. The quicker the switch, the better. In a perfect world, you don't really want to spend any longer than four to six minutes with a single scene before switching to another one. Our third strategy is about fairness and balance. If one scene has more players, give it more screen time. Think of it as your own in-game algorithm. More players means more engagement, which means more time in the spotlight. It wouldn't be fair to just give one player all the attention while the others sit around. Split up your scenes proportionally, ensuring that everyone gets their moment to shine. Our final strategy is about harmony. D&D is not a one-man performance. It's like being in a band. If the drummer decides to go solo while the rest of the band is trying to play, it's gonna sound like a banshee's wail. If one of your players keeps straying from the group and that's bothering the others, check in out of character to pull them back in. If it helps, you can even work with the other players to create in-game situations that naturally encourage everyone to regroup and work together, transforming your split party chaos into a well-orchestrated symphony. But when players disrupt the game by splitting the party or going solo, though, it's crucial to ask, why? Maybe your lone wolf player feels left out of the spotlight, or frustrated that their voice isn't being heard. Whatever the case, the better you can understand the underlying cause, the better you can address the symptoms. In future lessons, we'll dive deeper into the secrets of creating drama and tension in your D&D scenes and adventures, as well as mastering the social dynamics of your table. But for now, just remember the scene-cutting technique we've discussed today, keeping suspense high and balancing players' time in the spotlight while nipping potential issues in the bud. Before we wrap up, I've just got two more quick things to touch on. First, I want to know, what's the greatest number of scenes your players have ever made you run at once, and how did it turn out? Drop your horror stories in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Second, I want to give a quick shout out to our Patreon community. You can join today and unlock exclusive content like step-by-step -step guides to DMing, personal DMing advice, and a treasure trove of other benefits. Plus, you'll be part of a unique community of DMs sharing their experience and tips. There's a link in the description to sign up, so don't miss out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next lesson.